UNLV is the home team because the Rebels seated fourth in the West. Maryland seated fifth. And we're underway. Controlled by UNLV. Gilliam to Anthony Jones. Mark Wade will set it up. On the left wing is Freddie Banks. Underneath the basket, Armand Gilliam on one side and big Jake Flowers on the other. There's the law pass into Gilliam, and he goes for the left hand. 2 nothing UNLV. Let's start for the running Rebels. Armand Gilliam with a lob to the inside. Maryland not prepared with that defense. I don't think they had their defense set. Gatlin brings it up against Mark Wade. Jeff Baxter, and down low is Long, along with Lewis. There is Lynn Bias on the wing. Baxter goes for the baseline in heavy traffic, and he kicks it off of the thigh of Armand Gilliam. Good thinking, otherwise he was going to be trapped over there. Well, he really had nowhere to go. He went into that tall timber on the inside. Those two players, both of them on the inside, Gilliam and Flowers, really had him pinned. Gatlin gets it out to Baxter, back over to Gatlin. Baxter had only one point in 25 minutes in the first meeting, December the 7th. Mike UNLV has got a very quick zone defense. It's not a passive zone. There is a shot by Bias, rebounded by Jones. Wade in the middle. Banks will take a 19-footer, and he gets it! Four, nothing, UNLV. Good start for UNLV. That's exactly what they needed to have to get this crowd. So many, so many thousands of them involved in this game. And that is exactly what UNLV did not have against Northeast Louisiana, shooting only 22% in the first 10 minutes, although the Rebels were able to win convincingly 75-51. Gatlin outside. A 20-footer by Keith Gatlin. That is so smooth. Isn't it, it looks though? so good. Gatlin, a 47% shooter from the floor. Maryland now changing defense as they were in a zone to open the game. Now they've gone to a man-to-man. -man. Gatlin really back inside the paint on Wade, not really concerned about his outside shooting ability. Gilliam on a jump 14-footer. Snapped up by Long, knocked away, but Long gets it right back. Banks giving Long some trouble in the backcourt. Freddie Banks almost got a foul right then, too. Gatlin and Baxter. It'll be Baxter back over to Gatlin. Good ball movement by the Maryland guards right now, trying to find the open outside. They got Bias, Bias. missing from the corner. Snapped up by Lewis. Lewis tries to cut through it up, and he's stuck over the line. Out of bounds, UNLV. Derek Lewis, who had a big game here Friday afternoon against Pepperdine, 13 points and 11 rebounds. Terry Long going to the bench right now and relieving himself of a necklace around his uh, neck. It's definitely a change from the 80s, but 50s and 60s. <laughs> Absolutely. 4-2, UNLV. In the early going, we played a little over two minutes here from the convention center in Long Beach. Mike Walden and Larry Conley. It's Gilliam over to Wade. Banks, Banks spins around, and his shot is a little short. Follow up, Gilliam. Yes, Armand Gilliam, 6-2 UNLV. That's why he's the leading rebounder on this running Rebel team. He got his eighth, eighth average rebound. He just got one of them. Jerry Tarkanian was saying yesterday he feels that Armand Gilliam is worn down, not as strong as he was a couple of weeks ago. Looked strong on that last shot. And Joe Forte has a foul on Freddie Banks, UNLV. Baxter and Gatlin both are moving the basketball well against the zone defense on the outside. If they can keep those two guards moving back and forth like that, they should open up a lot of shooting opportunities from them or for them. Gatlin will inbound it. Out it comes to Derek Lewis. 2-3 UNLV zone. Lewis, Baxter. Gatlin constantly looking inside for Lewis. There is Bias over in the wing. And he is fouled by Armin Gilliam. Quick move by Len Bias. Gilliam says, I don't know if I got him or not. Oftentimes when you get a player of the caliber of Len Bias with that quick first step, which he is so good at, he'll blow right by the defender, and Gilliam reached out and grabbed him. First foul on Gilliam, second team foul, UNLV. It's a 6-2 lead for the Rebels. We have played three minutes, and here's a steal by Gilliam. The big guy dribbling pretty well. Almost travel, however. Mark Wade with the left-handed pass to Banks. He will fire a 20-footer. Banks gets it right back. Goes to the baseline and misses. And the ball is pulled down by none other than Len Bias. Bias is averaging almost seven rebounds a game in addition to 23 points a game. Mike, I don't think there's a team in the country that UNLV would be intimidated by. They'll take it and run against anybody. Lewis and Baxter over on the left side. Cross to Gatlin. He may fire from there. Banks closes down on Gatlin in a hurry. Baxter on an 18-footer. Boy, that had a lot of yards to it. Bias gets it right back. Two-team. Bias kicks it out over to Gatlin. Baxter darts in. Back over to Bias. He scores it. 
Now, Bias has such a great variety of shots. And he went with the left hand, and he had to hook it around his defender. Watch Lynn Bias right here. He takes the ball in. Good pass by Jeff Baxter. Number 34, Lenny Bias. Straight up and in. Armand Gilliam with a good defensive stance. Took it right in the chest. The basket by Bias will count. The foul is on Bias. His first. And the score is 6-4, Nevada, Las Vegas. Maryland's going to open up again man-to-man. -man. You can see right there on the top out there for Maryland, and that's Derek Lewis on that defense out front. Gilliam over Bias. Good job by Long. Took and it. he gets it for Maryland. He says, wait a minute. I was hooked by Jones. Long kind of tipped that ball to himself. Banks on Baxter. Gatlin will set it up for the Turks. This is a team that finished sixth in the ACC with a six and eight record. Maryland really looking a lot inside. Gatlin from long range. That ties the game at six. Gatlin has four of the first six Maryland points. Mike, of all the players on this Maryland club, Keith Gatlin, when he gets hot, can be the most devastating, even more so than Lenny Bias. He is an excellent outside shooter. He's the number two scorer for the Terps, second only to Lynn Bias. Gatlin averaging 10 a game. Gilliam at the free throw line. And another rebound for Bias. That's his third rebound in about three and a half minutes of action. UNLV's going to stay with that zone defense. They're going to try to keep it away from the inside, and in particular, oh! Bias. Gatlin to Bias. 8-6, Maryland. So now the Turks have rattled off six straight points, and you're looking at an unhappy Jerry Tarkanian. Did I say try to keep it away from him? Oh, Jones almost answered it. Gatlin comes down for Maryland. Still stolen by Banks. Wade in heavy traffic. The running Rebels trying to do their thing. Wade gets the bucket. The foul will be called against Maryland's Keith Gatlin. The game tied at eight. Oh, what a flurry. Watch it again. Gatlin right there. Good steal by UNLV. Watch him turn and go the other way. Wade coming up. Good behind the back dribble. He got it to the midcourt. Look, nobody around. Takes it inside. Jeff Baxter tried to draw the charge, but he didn't. He was late in arriving. He's got the blood control. Mark Wade, who started at the University of Oklahoma, then transferred to a junior college, now at UNLV, makes it a three-point play. Lefty Drizel has had a lot of NCAA tournament experience, as has Jerry Tarkadia. A 9-8 lead for UNLV. Eldridge Hudson is in, replacing John Flowers for the Rebels. Hudson is 6-7 and a junior. So the Rebels lose a little bit in the height department as Flowers is just under 6'10". Again, UNLV trying to push it inside with that defense. Good job by UNLV. Wade down to Banks. Banks on a bank shot. Oh, he loves to use that backboard. 11-8. The Rebels from the BCAA conference up by three. Yeah, they're doing a nice thing of throwing uh, Maryland off a little bit. As they bring the ball up on offense, they catch him at the midcourt and back that zone defense back inside and make it difficult to get the ball in there. The referee, Joe Forte, has a call away from play. The foul against Eldridge Hudson. Three team fouls now against UNLV, the first on Hudson. You can expect UNLV to zone this out-of-bounds play by Maryland. Gatlin. And it's kicked out to Baxter. Well, Mark Wade doing a good job on the point of that defense. He's really getting wing to top of the, of the defense and making it very difficult for Baxter and Gatlin. Lewis, Jones covering down on him. Knocked away from Long by Hudson, and Jones has it for UNLV, and we get a foul against Perry Long of Maryland. Well, the story so far in this basketball game has been the defense by UNLV. They've denied it to the inside and tried to keep it away from Lynn Bias. Look at this pass, this attempted pass right inside. Long trying to make the move, but it was a good move by Eldridge Hudson to slap it to Anthony Jones. And Larry Conley, that defense by UNLV, has forced five Maryland turnovers at the outset. Jerry Tarkanian's team up 11-8 over lefty Grizel and the Maryland Turks. The winner goes on to battle Auburn in Houston, Texas next week. Somewhat of a surprise winner in the first game today against St. John's. Auburn 81, St. John 65. That shot. Oh, a follow up. Did Banks get it? I think they're going to have the credit to Banks, but I think Lewis is the one who knocked it in. I think Derek Lewis from Maryland was the one that touched it and knocked it in. Anyway, UNLV has expanded the lead to five points. 
And a foul call. Jerry Tarkanian trying to help the officials over on the side. It's on Eldridge Hudson. That'll be two on El Hud. Well, let's go back and watch it again. Did Lewis, in fact, touch the basketball? Watch him go up here. He did. He was the one who knocked it in. So you have to credit the man nearest, the man who knocked it in. In that case, it would be Freddie Banks. And Freddie turned around and said, thank you, Derek. Absolutely. Christmas came early. 13 to 8 the score. Maryland trailing UNLV by five. Lefty has not made a substitution as yet. Generally goes with about six players. Long gets a 20-footer. 13 to 10. The outside shooting by the Terps has been outstanding here in the first eight minutes of action. Maryland's got that man-to-man -man defense packed in pretty tight right now. Hudson can do that. He comes off of the bench and gives the team a big lift. He's been doing that the last month of the season. Didn't play that much in the first half of the season. Five-point lead, UNLV. Speedy Jones and Baxter. Well, UNLV doing a great job on defense. They pressured them when they picked their dribble up, and that's exactly what you need to do. Mark Wade getting quite a workout. Jockeying back and forth. Bias. His missed shot rebounded by Anthony Jones. Mark Wade hits the outlet man, Elbridge Hudson. He'll take the shot. And it's rebounded by Gilliam, Madeline Jones, and Bias, and it'll be out of bounds to Maryland. And Gilliam had something to say to Derek Lewis. Freddie Banks has a bad ankle, and I noticed that he was limping as he goes off to the bench, and the trainer will start to work on that ankle. He injured the ankle in practice yesterday. 15 to 10, the score, UNLV. So say, Lewis and Gilliam exchanged some glances right there as they were taking the ball out of bounds. And Maryland was. A word or two. They probably weren't giving one another St. Patrick's Day greetings. Lewis along the baseline, and the foul will be whistled against UNLV. It's called on Mark Wade. 15 to 10. The Rebels over the Turks. Mike, that'll give you some idea of how this defense is working for UNLV. Wade was down on the baseline. He's a guard. He was down there giving assistance to that taller Maryland club inside. It really helped him. How about that points in the paint? UNLV has nine. Maryland only two. It's a good reason. They can't get the ball in. The defense is packed back in so tightly. Derek Lewis misses the free throw. On the season, Lewis is a 68 percenter at the line. Good game against uh, Pepperdine on Friday, 13 points and 11 rebounds. He leads the Terps in block shots with 67. 15 to 11 to score. Lefty's team down by four as we near the midway point in the first half. Maryland's in a man-to-man -man defense. You can see Gatlin drop back in that middle when the ball goes to the wing. Jones on the fadeaway, hoping to get foul, and he was. The foul whistled against Speedy Jones of Maryland. They still work on that ankle, trying to tape it up as tightly as they possibly can. That's the UNLV trainer, Jerry Koluski, working on Freddie Banks. Oftentimes when you sprain an ankle like that, it stretches those tendons in there, and that taping really gives it good support. It's still 15 to 11, UNLV. The Rebels going with Jones, Hudson, Wade, Gary Graham, and Armand Gilliam. Jones drops in the second one. Once again, UNLV with a five-point margin, 16 to 11. UNLV, UNLV with just a little bit of pressure on that full court. Now they've got him trapped. Chased down by Baxter. Off to Gatlin. Wade covering down on Gatlin. Oh, UNLV doing a great job with this defense. They have just absolutely shut down Maryland. The nickname of UNLV, the running Rebels, everybody thinks they're nothing but a run and shoot team, but they play tough defense like that. Coming from out of nowhere was Gilliam to reject that shot by Lewis. Bias comes in and sinks it. But we have a foul along the baseline over in the corner. That basket will not count. And it comes to Bias. Might have been partially deflected. Jarvis Bashnight is in the Vegas lineup now. He's replacing Armand Gilliam. Wade over to Gary Graham. Wade will set it up again. 16 to 11 the score. Mark UNLV. Wade. Mark Wade doing a nice job of running this club. They got a little out of control there, and he brought the ball back out and set the offense. There is Gilliam. Foul is on Bashnight. 
Watch Jarvis Bash night right here on the miss. Gilliam goes up. Bias flies by him. The ball caroms off on the other side. Good rebound by Speedy Jones. Bash Knight was on the foul. Speedy Jones, good re good uh, positioning there to get that rebound. That is the seventh team foul against UNLV. Speedy Jones, a 6'6 senior from Oak Hill, West Virginia, will be at the line, but they say no, it's Derek Lewis who should be there. I don't know about that one. I thought maybe it was Jones who got pushed. Jones was ready to take the ball and pop up the free throw, but Lewis is the man. That makes it 16 to 12. Derek Lewis from Temple Hills, Maryland, averaging eight points a game. Couple of free throws by Derrick Lewis pulls Maryland to within three. Nine and a half minutes left in the first half. Mark Wade off to Anthony Jones. Wade. Ball comes off to Jeff Baxter. Mark Wade picks up Baxter right at the midcourt line. Off to Gatlin. Even though he reaches him in midcourt, Mike, he really gets back into that zone defense very quickly. Baxter and oop, pass to Gatlin was a little wide. Gatlin was able to get it. 16-13 UNLV over Maryland. Very impressed with the swarming defense UNLV showing Maryland right now. They're not really giving them an opportunity to make good passes or shots. Baxter's bank shot. And that was not an easy shot, Mike. No, that was not an easy. Maryland trails by one. Eight and a half minutes to go till intermission time. Wade and Gary Graham. Freddie Banks on the bench. They're still trying to tape up that left ankle inside to Gilliam. Five-footer poured in by Armin Gilliam. And Gilliam has six of the 18 for UNLV. The junior from Pittsburgh got it in the right position there, and he got it over the top of some pretty big Maryland players. Again, Wade bothering Baxter. Wade's like one of those flyers. He just hangs around and just drives you absolutely crazy, and he's driving Baxter crazy right now. Like a mosquito at the 4th of July pick -tick. Can't get rid of him. Baxter off to Gatlin. There's the shot by Lynn Bias. Beautiful arc, Lynn Bias. And that is six for Bias, 18-17. A one-point margin for UNLV. Stay with their man-to-man -man defense. You see Jones on Jones out there. Now Lewis switches off on him. Wade gets it into Bash Knight. Bash Knight wanted to shoot it. Two men are on. He throws it away. It knocked away by Gatlin. Good hands by Keith Gatlin. He actually reached in and just kept that pass from being made and took it away from him. 18-17, UNLV. There's the alley -oop. Speedy Jones on the other end of it, and the foul whistled against... UNLV's Jarvis Fashnight. Good strategy by Lefty Grizzell. Pull that defense out, make him come and get you a chute, open up the inside, and there's the foul committed right there. Well, Jones way up in the air to receive that pass. Freddie Banks returns to the Rebel lineup. Armand Gilliam will go out. Mark Wade goes out. So UNLV will have Banks, Jones, John Flowers, Gary Graham, and Jarvis Fashnight. Maryland with Len Bias, Derek Lewis, Speedy Jones, Keith Gatlin, and Jeff Baxter. So Jones will go to the line, shooting the one and one. Maryland got it back, long with a good offensive rebound. A steal by Banks. Graham with it. 18-17 UNLV. Off air ball put up by Jones. John Johnson on the left side here with Gatlin. He's got Bias in the corner. Bias is starting to warm up a little bit. They may want to start looking to him more to the inside. Johnson is the first substitute for a lefty. Johnson scores it. The 6th fourth freshman pours it in for the Terps, who take the lead at 19 to 18. All of a sudden, UNLV's gone very cold to the field. They have not shot the ball well, and Maryland's defense, I think, has contributed to that. Jones likes that spot on the floor. Ah! Underneath, Flowers. And a foul called on Johnson. John Johnson of Maryland. 
First foul on Johnson, five team fouls against the Turks. Pretty good foul right there by Johnson because Flowers had the inside position, was gonna go up with a shot. He got pushed from the backside, otherwise it would've been an easy field goal. And Mark Wade will return to the UNLV lineup, replacing Gary Graham. Rebels will have Mark Wade, Anthony Jones, John Flowers, Arvin Gilliam, and Freddie Banks. From the corner, Banks air ball. Follow up, Flowers! 2019 UNLV. Mark, that was almost an air ball. He threw it through so quickly it didn't touch anything. I'm surprised though, the shooting by UNLV. First an air ball by Jones and then one by Freddie Banks. That's not like the Rebels. 20 to 19. One point lead for Jerry Tarkanian's team. Lenny Baez working hard, taken down by Jones. Well, he just could not get Flowers to commit to that fake. He just wouldn't go for it. Underneath, Flowers, 22-19 UNLV. Almost another steal right there. Well, Banks and Wade are doing a good job with his UNLV team, keeping uh, Maryland's guard off balance. Shot by Stephen Jones. Excellent move. He got Anthony Jones to come after him, and when he did, he blew right by him and shot the eight-foot jumper. 22-21. In case you're wondering about Len Bias, he is three out of eight from the floor to this juncture in the game. 22-21, UNLV. Gilliam over Long, snapped away. Maryland has it. Good play by Gary Long. Oh, Off to Johnson. Wade's got it. Here comes Freddie Banks. Banks in the middle, kicks it off over to Johnson. <laughs> Freddie Banks used to be a point guard. When Wade came in this year, they moved into the off guard position. He still knows how to play the position. Wade slapped it away, and it was good position. Look at Jones on the right side of your screen. Get inside and receive this pass, and he jammed it. Watch it again, down low. Good pass, good lead pass right here, and Jones caught up with it. Terry Long to do nothing but foul. Good job by UNLV, getting the transition basket off of a steal. Jones will go to the line. Try to make it a three-point play. It's a three-point UNLV lead. 25, and we'll get a timeout here at the convention center in Long Beach. And it's 25-21 UNLV. Maryland with Lynn Bias, with uh, Johnson, John Johnson, Keith Gatlin, Speedy Jones, and Derek Lewis. There is Johnson inside, and the freshman scores it. He was fouled in front of the line. 25-23. Good play off the bench by John Johnson, the freshman from Bearden High School in Knoxville, Tennessee, takes it up. Well, he got both UNLV players to commit right there and then took it to the inside. A Good play on, and a foul by Gilliam. Foul was on Gilliam, right, his second. Johnson, a 67% free throw shooter. Flowers with the rebound. Two-point lead, UNLV, 25-23. We have a little over four minutes left in this half. Wade is open. Rarely does he take a shot. Averages less than two shots a game. Wade on the baseline. Loops it up there, and it funnels in, finally. So Wade has taken his allotment. Two shots in this game, and he's made both. Maybe he should shoot more, 27 to 23. UNLV again met the Maryland guards right at midcourt and dropped back into that zone defense. You see, Banks and Wade do a nice job of moving the front of that zone defense around to where the ball is. And hasn't Johnson helped Maryland coming off the bench, substituting for Jeff Baxter? Four points for Johnson. Bias, three out of eight shooting. There is Jones, Speedy Jones. Rebounded by Flowers, who tries to save it, and he does over to Gilliam. Gilliam's got to get some help. He says, wait a minute, I don't need any help. I can do it myself. 27-23, UNLV. The winner faces Auburn next week in Houston, Texas. Banks. Bias takes it down for Maryland. Well, Banks was completely out of control that time, going baseline. He threw up a shot. It didn't even touch anything. Went up completely over the rim. Banks being uh, bothered by that ankle. Johnson and Jones out in front. 27-23 UNLV. There is Gatlin. Tight break for Gatlin. Bias scores it. How about his back to the basket? Didn't even see it. Put it up and in. 
27 to 25. Bias has eight points. And five rebounds to go with those eight points. Dave Walden handling the stats for us here in Long Beach today. Well, Maryland really has no respect whatsoever for Wade's outside shooting. They do give him a wide berth. Jones, his 20-footer, 29-25, and Jones has six. Jones, the leading scorer for UNLV. He just went ahead of Freddie Banks off the performance against Northeast Louisiana on Friday. Gatlin, the number two score for Maryland to John Johnson. I almost want to look out and count and see if UNLV's just got five players out there. It seems like every time I look up, they've got nine guys flowing around the court. Johnson's missed shot. Flowers down to Banks. Banks against Gatlin. He does get it. That hung on the lip of the rim for a second or two. Finally curled in. Banks with eight points. 31-25, a six-point lead for UNLV, the biggest lead in the game. Las Vegas doing a nice job again with that defense. They've gotten a number of turnovers on steals. They just got one a few minutes ago on a missed shot. Got a basket, a good transition game. Bias, they try to close down and hit his shot. Hit the side of the backboard. Gilliam to Freddie Banks. Banks over to Jones from the corner. Two. Anthony Jones, eight points. An eight-point lead, UNLV. Well, after all of the action over the weekend, the ACC looks strong. Also, the Southeast Conference. Southeast Conference has four teams still alive. If Maryland wins this game, the ACC would have five as you head into the round of 16. I don't think that really would surprise anybody if Maryland were to win this game. Right now, I think UNLV's got this one under control so far in the first half. Might be a bit of a surprise that the Big East has been eliminated. 33-25, UNLV. Inside to Bias. Bias puts it up, doesn't get it. Lewis does, he scores it. Derek Lewis. I mean to tell you, there are a lot of jumping going on underneath the boards and a lot of hands around that rim. 33-27 as we wind down to the final seconds of the first half. Jones. Good fake. Yeah, he gets long up in the air and then he takes a bad shot. Really forced it. Down the pass won't count and that's it for the first half here in Long Beach with the score UNLV 33 Maryland 27 starting lineup for Maryland in the second half Keith Gatland Derek Lewis Lynn Bias Jeff Baxter and Tom Speedy Jones for UNLV Mark Wade Freddie Banks Armand Gilliam Jake Flowers Anthony Jones 33 27 UNLV Look at Wade and Banks interchanging out front right there. They'll gamble. They'll make runs at him. Gatlin puts it in. We're starting off the second half just like we did the first half. Gatlin hit his first shot against that UNLV defense, and he's starting out the second half in the same manner. Wade brings it up against Gatlin. Banks is guarded by Baxter. Well, UNLV's got two big, strong, powerful guys in there in Gilliam and Flowers. Banks takes the shot. Partially defected the follow-up by Gilliam is rejected. What a block by Lewis. Lewis leads Maryland in block shots. That was his 68th block shot on the year. Jones is open. He had a shot and wouldn't take it. UNLV in that 2-3 zone defense. Gatlin again. And Gatlin again. 33-31. Gatlin has eight points. Terps beginning to fight their way back. Like you talked about, the star here in the second half, they are doing that, and it's on the leadership of Keith Gatlin. Into Gilliam and a foul on Derek Lewis. For Derek Lewis, he draws his first personal. You look at those two big horses on the inside, Armand Gilliam at 6'9 and 230, and John Flowers at 6'9 and a half, 230. Pretty tough to move those two guys around on there. Those are the listed weights. I think it might be a little bit more than that. Jones from outside, misses. Jones for Maryland. Anthony Jones for UNLV. Speedy Jones for Maryland. Just a two-point lead for the Rebels. Just underway here in the second half from Long Beach. The winner goes on to face Auburn at the Summit in Houston, Texas next week. Gatlin 
Can he make a three in a row? Indeed he can. The game is tied. Jerry Tarkanian, hands on his hips, wondering what in the world do I have to do to shut him down? Keith Gatlin, 6'5", junior, pulling Merrill and even. Wade to Gilliam. Good help by Bias that time. They almost got the steal, but Bias got the arm. That'll be the second personal on Len Bias. Good comeback right now by Maryland. That six-point disadvantage they had at halftime now has been wiped away. Maryland in a tough battle with UNLV, but that is nothing new for the Terps because 10 of their losses, 10 of their 13 losses, have been to teams ranked in the top 20. Maryland has played the toughest schedule of the nation, not only this season, but last season as well. You know, there ought to be a message right there, I think, Mike, for clubs out there who are trying to put their schedules together. Mike, uh, you and I have both talked about this, and I think Lefty does a great job of putting his schedules together and getting his club ready to play. Foul will be whistled against Derek Lewis of Maryland. Two fouls, and Lefty says, I don't know about that. Two on Lewis, two on Bias. Third team foul against the Terps in this half. UNLV hasn't committed a foul. UNLV also hasn't scored this half. The Rebels are 0 for 3. Maryland 3 for 3, namely Keith Gatlin, who has made all three of his shots. They've played almost 2 minutes and 30 seconds now, and the running Rebels yet to get a basket. And the score is tied at 33. So 3 is the prominent number right now. As the ball goes over to Banks, his 20-footer pulled down by Speedy Jones. Almost lost it, but Baxter was there in the right spot. Cross to Gatlin. I would think with a hot hand, they'd want Gatlin to put it up again. 33 all. There's Gatlin. He's open from the corner, but elected to pass it up. And it goes to Bias. His looping 50 foot out. Follow up by Speedy Jones. Oh, did he get up in the air? Maryland takes the lead, 35-33. If I hadn't thought Lenny Bias was shooting the ball, I would have picked him to be doing that, but I know he was shooting. Speedy Jones way up in the air. Bias is now 4 out of 12 shooting, but Maryland is ahead, 35-33. And this foul is on Speedy Jones. Mike, they're really fighting for position inside. You look at Gilliam and Flowers really trying to establish that post-position play. Watch it down inside. Bias, no, this is a late earlier. Watch this miss right here and the follow-up right here by Speedy Jones. Good play. Good follow-up. Maryland has scored eight points to start this second half to take the lead at 35-33. Watch it again. Now Flowers trying to get up on the inside against Jones. The ball is snapped up by Bias. He had to have his, from his elbow, above the rim. The Las Vegas bench was really upset. They felt like Lenny Bias reached up with a ball still on the rim. Whatever he did, it was some athletic effort. 35-33, Maryland. Bias from the corner. Two. That scored a great ten points. Ten to nothing. 37-33, Maryland on top. And I don't think Jerry Tarkini is far away from a timeout. He's thinking about it right now. I think if he doesn't get a basket here and Maryland scores one more, he'll take a timeout. Gilliam off the way. Glenn Bias has 10 points and 8 rebounds. Outside, Anthony Jones. Mark Wade has it. Mark Wade goes in there and has it rejected by Lewis. Gatlin down to Bias. Watch this. All of a sudden, where did these Maryland fans come from? I'm looking up and there are thousands of people standing up cheering. 39, 33, and a glum Jerry Tarkanian. Says, I can't believe we haven't scored in this half. Well, they haven't. It's he's almost five minutes. He's chewing on his towel right now. Wade on a 14-footer. I think that was kind of an alley-oop. Couldn't have been a shot because it was too far off. Maryland gets the ball. A six-point lead for the Terps. 12 straight points to start this second half for Maryland. Well, I'll tell you what. It has been a drought for UNLV, but Maryland has found the oasis. Absolutely. Here's Bias. Baxter. Lewis to one side, along with Speedy Jones. Gatlin shot. Gatlin hasn't missed this half. He's four out of four. 41-33, Maryland. Underneath, Anthony Jones. And finally, UNLV scores. It took him five and a half minutes to do it. Good move by Anthony Jones' baseline. He needed that one, and his team needed it sorely.
A reminder, right after the basketball game, Islanders-Rangers hockey live at 9 o'clock Eastern here on ESPN. We'll see if they can fight back. Down by six. Mark Wade into Gilliam. Gilliam muscles his way in and scores it. The basket will count. And let's see how the foul goes. Going to go against Baxter on the block. Watch Baxter hit the deck right here. It's a good move to the inside. Well, that was an excellent move there by Armin Gilliam. He took it, went right by the Maryland defender, and he ran right up against Jeff Baxter. And a perfect bounce pass from Mark Wade to boot. Wade, who leads UNLV in assists, averaging seven a game. Gilliam will have a free throw. Armin Gilliam, eight points in the game today, make it nine. So UNLV comes back now, trails by just three. Gilliam, eight points and four rebounds as Lewis brings it across the timeline, being chased by Gilliam. Good idea, I think, by Jerry Tarkanian right here. Come out, put a little bit of pressure on Maryland. He had a couple of baskets quick. Keep the momentum going his way. Foul will be on Freddie Banks. Little reach-in foul called on the 6'2 junior guard of UNLV. Interesting, we've played almost six minutes now in the second half, and that's the first team foul. Against UNLV. Inbounding it will be Keith Gatlin. 41-38, Maryland. And the Turks doing a job on the boards as well. Out to Lynn Bias. 12 points for Lynn Bias. Tough matchup by Gillian. Good steal by Gillian. Gillian. Jones off to Mark Wade. He caught Bias unaware there. He reached out with those long arms and got the ball away from him. Jones fade away by Anthony is short. Jones trying to follow up over to Gillian. His shot short again. Jones falls down and puts it up. And the foul will be against Derek Lewis. Oh, what a great effort by Anthony Jones on the inside. Three fouls on Lewis. Six team fouls now against you uh, against the Maryland. UNLV has committed only one. That might be important down the stretch. Watch Jones go back. You see him float underneath. Gilliam got up with a shot. He missed it. Jones is back again. Tried to take it up, and Lewis pushed him to the floor. Eldridge Hudson in the lineup now, replacing Flowers for UNLV. Hudson playing with three fouls. 41-38, Maryland. As the Terps rattled off 12 straight points to start the second half to take the lead, and now the Rebels trying to battle back. Jones, Banks, and it goes to Hudson. Left-handed shot is deflected by Jones, and Anthony Jones gets it back for UNLV. He's doing everything for the running Rebels. Anthony Jones. Gilliam, five-footer. Nope, tap, no good by Anthony Jones. Another one, no good. Gilliam doesn't score it. Gilliam does. 41-40, Maryland. And this game is really turning on the fans here at the convention center in Long Beach. Foul by Mark Wade in the corner right there, trying to get the steal to come back again. You want to talk about a strong rebounding effort? Watch UNLV right here. This is a club that averages 37 rebounds a game, and I think they just got about 20% of them right here on this flurry. <laughs> That's right. Comes into Baxter, and traveling on Baxter. Out of bounds, UNLV. That is the ninth Maryland turnover. Nevada Las Vegas has committed four in the game. You know, they had four at halftime. That means they haven't made a single turnover in the second half. It seems like with a blink of the eye, Maryland had an eight-point lead. Now it's only one. Give UNLV credit, and Jar Jerry Tarkini has done a good job of keeping their composure. Outside, a 22-footer, Anthony Jones. 42-41, UNLV, 12 points for A.J. In their league, that's a three-point play. The PCAA and the Big Sky were the only two conferences to have the three-point play. And Anthony Jones averaged 50% of his three-point baskets this season for UNLV. Gary Graham will come back in for UNLV. The foul is on Anthony Jones of the Rebels. Graham replaces Freddie Banks. Gatlin misses. Speedy Jones is fouled by Mark Wade. 42-41. You put the ball on the floor in front of Wade, and he's going to either come up with it or he's going to slap it to somebody. A great hand. Three team fouls against UNLV, six against Maryland. Gatlin looking in for Lewis. Gets it in there to him, but a foul. It's on Hudson, his fourth. 
Hudson reaching in against Derek Lewis. Yeah, you can almost see that coming because Lewis got the post up position with Gatlin in the corner with the ball. He had him on his hip. And now Jerry Tarkanian has to get Hudson out of there. We'll send Jake Flowers back in. Flowers, 6'10, 235. It's tough you have to reach down and pick up a guy 6'10, 235, right? Absolutely. Bias close for that baseline, loses it, and Lewis wins the jumping contest. Gatlin into Bias. Bias in heavy traffic, misses. Grabbed off by Wade, the smallest man in the court. Wade out to Anthony Jones. Back out to Mark Wade. Inside, there is Gilliam. Knocked away by Lewis. Gilliam doesn't get it. Gilliam still doesn't get it. And in the flurry underneath, coming out of there is Gatlin for Maryland. There must be something wrong with that basket down here. I think it's possessed. I've never seen so much flurry of activity under one basket in so short a time. Foul will be against Gary Graham, his first, and that is 16 fouls. Well, UNLB having really tough luck on those shots down there. They had a number of them roll around, and that was the second consecutive trip that they've had that happen. It's a one-point lead for UNLV over left feet as well in Maryland at 42-41. Mike Walden, Larry Conley from Long Beach. Bias working against Gilliam, pops it up. Rebounded by Anthony Jones. Bias has really had trouble on his shooting in this game today. It's brought up now by Mark Wade. 42-41. Anthony Jones, Gary Graham. One point lead, UNLV. Lob pass into Gilliam, he doesn't get it. He uh, misses again, finally Flowers is there to funnel it through. Derek Lewis has been outstanding underneath those boards, swatting shot after shot for Maryland. But eventually he gets tired. They keep coming back at him again and again and again. Baxter to Gatlin. Baxter is open, he takes the shot, air ball. Flowers is there for UNLV. And it was a good job by Mark Wade that time, getting to Baxter to throw that shot off. What a game of spurts. The Rebels led by six of the half, and then Maryland with 12 straight points to take an eight-point lead. Now UNLV up by three, 44-41. Mark Wade. Graham inside the Gillian. The foul will be against Derek Lewis. Lewis commits the foul for Maryland. And that is four on the rejector, Derek Lewis. So Lewis will go to the bench along with Jeff Baxter. got John Johnson back in the lineup now for Maryland. I think that's a pretty good move. Baxter would look like he was getting a little weary out there, and I'm sure Lewis was. Terry Long, Speedy Jones, Terry Gatlin, Johnson, Lynn Bias for Maryland as Gilliam goes to the line. 44-41 UNLV. Gilliam has 11 points and 10 rebounds. 45-41. How do you explain a game like this? 12 straight points by Maryland, and then UNLV comes right back. Mike, I really don't want to explain it. I'm going to sit back and enjoy it. <laughs> I don't blame you, Larry Conley. Here comes the next one by Gilliam. 46-41. And Jarvis Bashnight in for UNLV, replacing Armin Gilliam. Jerry Tarkanian said before the game he was concerned about the condition of Gilliam. He thought he was very tired. Well, Gilliam has really been playing with a lot of intensity, using a lot of energy, and he's going to give him a blow right now. 46-41. Bias. This five point short. It'll be out of bounds. UNLV. Bias is six out of 17. An un Len Bias type performance by the great All-American. I like what Lefty Brazil just did. He came off the bench and he says, take your time, be calm, don't worry about it, don't panic. We have 10 minutes left in this game. 10 minutes. 46-41, UNLV. Wade chases it down. Gary Graham rarely takes a shot. Best defensive player for the Rebels. Banks missed shot, is rebounded by Len Bias. That is eight, make it nine rebounds for Len Bias. 46-41. UNLV down in a straight man-to-man -man defense. Look at Gatlin with a good pass to Johnson. What a great pass. And Johnson scores it. 46-43 as Maryland comes right back. Trailing by three now. Maryland's going to be content to stay in that 2-3 zone. Graham will take a shot. Nails it. 
An 18-footer at the side by Gary Graham, 48-43. They're going to give the ball out of bounds to UNLV. Nobody could get open. Keith Gatlin immediately turned and looked down the floor and started waving people up, said, give us some help. Ten Maryland turnovers and a perplexed lefty Grizzell. His team down by five, 48-43. Inbounding will be Gary Graham. Out it comes to Freddie Banks. Flowers underneath, along with Bash Knight. Gilliam is on the bench. Outside, Jones. 24! Anthony Jones! 14 points. And now it's a seven-point lead for UNLV. Graham all over Gatlin. He got him at midcourt, and he's really putting a pressure on him. John Johnson into bias. Has it knocked away the foul against Freddie Banks? Have you noticed every time the ball goes to the inside how quickly Wade Banks and Graham get in there and they're slapping it around? Three fouls on Fred Banks of UNLV. That is the seventh team foul against the running Rebels. So now both teams have gone over the limit and will be in the one and one for the rest of the way. Bias will have the one and one. Bias, an excellent free throw shooter, 86%. He's made 201 in 234 attempts. 50-44. Bias with 13, make it 14 for Len Bias. Five-point lead for the Rebels from Nevada, Las Vegas. Now Maryland changed defense with Lucky Grizzell going man-to-man. Bash night. Rebounded by Gary Graham, and he loses it. Graham gets it right back. Gatlin's going to guard Banks out front. That's a pretty good matchup. Both of them about the same size. And an elbowing foul called on Flowers. And Flowers points to the other guy, says, hey, Long got me first. But the official saw Flowers, and that's the way it goes. So Flowers picks up the personal. I'm not, I'm not too sure. He called 35. I think he meant 32. Terry Long. I saw him give the five number. Yeah. And maybe Flowers was saying you got the wrong guy. It's against Terry Long. Lewis with four, Hudson with four, Banks weighed three each in the foul department. Three fouls on Terry Long now. So Flowers will go to the free throw line. Not a very good free throw shooter, only 64%. No. He started out at Indiana under Bobby Knight. He was a red shirt last year at UNLV because he weighed about 255 pounds. He shed about 15 of those now. 50-45, University of Nevada, Las Vegas over Maryland. Bias with 14 points. John Johnson. And he is fouled by Gary Graham, who tried to put his hands in his pocket to no avail. You know, I find it interesting in watching UNLV play their defense that every time someone passes with a ball, the opposite defensive guard who's not guarding the ball takes a swipe at it. And that's exactly what happened right then. You look at Graham, Mark Wade, and also Freddie Banks, all three of those guys, when their man doesn't have the ball, they're swiping, they're running, they're gambling. This is a good defense. John Johnson, the freshman, has helped the Maryland Terps. Didn't that time as he misses his free throw. 50 to 45. UNLV with a five-point margin and the ball. With seven and a half minutes to go. Banks, a 10-footer. Comes off to Johnson. Johnson down to Gatlin. They got a three on one. Gatlin swings it over to Speedy uh, Jones, and he has to chase it down before it goes out of bounds. Out to Long. Terry Long to Gatlin. He can hit that shot. Not this time. Follow up. Jones. No. Flowers. Traveling on Flowers. So UNLV has had a flurry of shots underneath in this half, and they haven't been able to get it to drop. Same thing happening now to Maryland as Jerry Tarkanian glances up at the scoreboard. 50-45, UNLV. Well, Maryland had a chance to capitalize right there. How about the rebounding here so far in the second half? UNLV absolutely dominating the glass. Bias. Bias has 14 points. Gatlin, 12 to lead Maryland. Anthony Jones, 14. Gilliam, 13. The top point producers for UNLV. And a foul whistle again on Gary Graham. He was chesting Gatlin. That is three on Graham. And
and Tarkanian will get Mark Wade back in for UNLV, and Derek Lewis returns for Maryland. Mike, I'm not too sure that foul wasn't on Mike Flowers against Lenny Bias. It looked like it might have been away from the ball. We'll check that out and see. It was. Bias to the line. I think the foul was on Flowers. Bias, 14 points. Foul was on Flowers. You are right, Larry. Bias has had his problems today, but like the great player that he is, he's been hanging in there, and his point total now is up to 15. 50 to 47, Maryland creeps to within three. Less than seven minutes to play. A reminder right after the game, don't forget to be with us for Islanders and Rangers hockey live at 9 o'clock Eastern here on ESPN. Look at Derek Lewis guarding Wade out there. He's all the way back inside the key and really decided not to come out and guard him. 33, Derek Lewis backed off right there of Wade. And Lewis playing with four fouls. That's probably Jones, reason. there's his shot. Jones pumps it in again. 16 for Anthony Jones. The co-PCAA player of the year along with Greg Grant of Utah State. Once again, a five-point spread between these two. UNLV's advantage. Bias baseline shot. That one drops right through. 52-49, and Bias has 18. The coaches in the ACC are going to be glad to see that shot gone. Except for one coach. His name is Charles G. Grizzell. I watched Lewis back inside there. He's trying to keep the ball away from in there, going either to Hudson or to Gilliam. Flowers, good position. Now look at Lewis behind him. Gilliam will take the shot. Oh, and he makes it from the top of the circle. His range normally is 10 feet and in, but he pumped in about a 17-footer. 54-49 UNLV. Jeff Baxter, Speedy Jones. There's the alley -oop. Jones, foul on Anthony Jones. So the Jones boys tangle on the alley -oop. The basket to Speedy and the foul to Anthony. What makes this play is Keith Gatlin's pass. Boy, Jones right there to grab it. Anthony Jones didn't anticipate quickly enough. He could see it coming, but he was about a step slow. There's the foul. There's the great play. Gatlin and Speedy Jones. They run that to perfection. Whenever they get that defense pulled out that far, they come out and get him. Gatlin will lob that ball up inside. Maryland is 7 out of 11 at the free throw line. 7 out of 12 now. Bash Knight with it for UNLV. Three-point lead with five minutes left. Maryland staying with that man-to-man -man defense, except for Derek Lewis. He's not going to come out and guard Wade. Mark Wade can stand out there all day long. Derek Lewis won't come out. Jones shot goes in. The basket to Lewis help. 56-51. Watch it again, Derek Lewis, did he commit his fifth foul? Anthony Jones burning it up in the second half. Yes, it is his fifth. And Derek Lewis fouls out with four minutes, 49 seconds left. Mike, I gotta say, Anthony Jones probably has had the best basketball game of any player out there so far this afternoon. Jones on the season has been shooting at a 52% clip. And today, he has 18 points and Mark Wade has nine assists. For Derrick Lewis, five points. As he is fouled out with 449 left. Anthony Jones at the free throw line. He started out, you know, and played at Georgetown University under John Thompson, then transferred to UNLV, and he's had a banner, banner season. Leading score for the Rebels. He's got some tough shots here this afternoon. That last one was not easy at all. Look of concentration on the part of Lenny Bias right there. Lynn has had an outstanding year. Right now, he's the guy. He is the man that's going to have to lead Maryland out of the six-point deficit that they're staring at. Bias, the career scoring leader at Maryland, has scored over 1,200 points. Excuse me, 2,200 points in 130 games in his Maryland career. Bias with the ball right now. Gilliam trying to bother him. Loose ball. Long has it for the Turks. 
57-51. Well, UNLV really did a good job of that press at midcourt. It really unnerves Maryland. They've come out there and made it very, very tough on them to get the basketball to the inside. Myers with that looping one-hander. Foul on Gilliam. The basket counts. Tough shot. Lynn Bias. Oh, was that a tough shot. 57-53. Watch it again. Baxter, Bias. Watch him bury his head right here. Kind of bull his way through. He turns, goes, flowers. Jones tries to help. Boy, that was a tough shot by Lynn Bias. Lynn Bias is four out of four at the free throw line. 20 points in this game. 57-53, UNLV. Fifty-seven, fifty-four, twenty-one. now for Bias. Now Maryland will try to pressure UNLV, but Wade with that left-handed toss across to Anthony Jones. That was some kind of pass. Looked like a high inside fastball. 57-54, Wade against Gatlin. Wade will take the pass to Jones. Jones underneath has it knocked away. And it'll be out of bounds to UNLV. No foul on Bias. Lefty Grissel wanted to charge on Jones. Jerry Tarkanian wanted to block on Bias. What happened? Ball goes out of bounds. Watch it again. Here's the lob inside. Both Bias and Jones go up. Catch is good. He retrieves it, comes down. Ooh. Oh, my God. Yeah, collision. 59-54. A basket by Anthony Jones. 21 points for A.J. 59-54. Three minutes, 40 seconds to play. Jeff Baxter. Speedy Jones. Gatlin from the corner. There is Anthony Jones again. He not only can score 21 points, he can rebound, he can block shots, steal, handle the ball. What else do you need? Eldridge Hudson back over to Mark Wade. Jones will pump from the outside and miss it. Long has it for Maryland. Everybody's been talking in this tournament about Len Bias and Walter Berry, a guy sure to go high in the NBA draft will be Anthony Jones. Oh, I think so too, Mike. I agree. He's a very talented 6'6 player, good swing player. 59-54. Five-point lead, UNLV Baxter from the outside. Rebounded by Anthony Jones again. That is seven rebounds for Anthony Jones to go with his 21 points. 59 54 two minutes 35 seconds left basket here by UNLV can really hurt Maryland they need a turnover they need a rebound Freddie Banks hit a long left-handed shot yes went right by Baxter and laid it in 30 Banks. point lead UNLV 61 54 and Jerry Tarkanian's running Rebels are just two minutes and 15 seconds away from a trip to the summit in Houston Texas and a meeting with Auburn Auburn, an 81-65 victor over St. John's earlier today. 55% shooting by Maryland, and yet Maryland is trailing by seven. They've got to get some shots up and get them up quickly. Gatlin is the guy that can do it from the outside. Johnson has it knocked away. There is Bias. And it's snapped up now by Eldridge Hudson, and a foul on Len Bias. Three fouls on Bias. That will send Hudson to the free throw line, but Hudson is only a 48 percenter. That's a tough break for Maryland. They had a lot of opportunities to put the ball up and in. Lefty, Mer Lefty Drizel of Maryland shaking his head, wondering where in the world that lid came that's on that Maryland basket. Mark Wade has 11 assists for UNLV. You realize that the Rebels have made no turnovers? I underscore that. No turnovers by the Rebels in the second half. And they only had four in the first half. Hudson. Vegas is seven out of nine at the free throw line. Hudson misses, and Speedy Jones has it for Maryland. But Maryland, a deficit of seven points, a minute and a half left. Oh, what a pass! Get the bias. 61-56. Wade fouled by Bias. That's four on Lynn Bias. Mark Wade will go to the free throw line. He is a 71 percenter. Watch Gatlin. That's at midcourt. He lets it go, and look how far that pass goes, and Lynn Bias right there to catch it. Mark Wade has scored five points in the game, but 
He has 11 assists. Rebound bias. 61-56. Still time. A minute and 26 seconds left. The All-American shoots from there. Hits it. 61 to 58. What you got to do now is think about the strategy of these two clubs. Obviously, UNLV wants to take the basketball and put it in the hands of their best free throw shooters because Maryland's going to have to foul. Lefty Grizzell, on the other hand, probably is going to come with a quick lineup. In fact, that's what he's got in there right now with Speedy Jones, Johnson, Bias, Baxter, and Gatlin. Probably do not overlook lineup. those free throws. The head free throw and a one-on-one -on -one missed by first Hudson and then Wade. They get it into Freddie Banks. Banks is a good free throw shooter, so Gatlin has to keep his hands off of Freddie as he brings it across the timeline. Mike, I think I'd play straight up right now. They're going to get the basketball back. They don't need to foul right now. The next time down the floor is when they want to foul. Wade underneath. There's Hudson. The 12th assist by Mark Wade. 63-58 UNLV. What a brilliant pass by Wade. Underneath, Bias. And are we going to have a jump ball or a foul? It's going to be a foul. I tell you, Banks looked like he got an awful lot of that ball as he went inside. Bias tried to muscle it up. Has there been anybody come forward, a star, someone like a Lenny Bias? He is outstanding. When they needed him, he has stepped up there and produced. Playing with four fouls, and Bias has 23 points, nine rebounds. He is nine out of 20 from the field. And he's five out of five at the free throw line. Still perfect. 63 to four point lead for UNLV. Lefty Grizel is getting ready to send Dave Dickerson in there. Bias makes that one. So it is 63 60. Maryland down by three as Dickerson comes in. Dickerson is the designated fowler. I can guarantee you that's what's going to happen. And Speedy Jones will go to the bench. In, and then it comes to Gilliam. Gilliam in trouble over to Wade. Wade across the timeline with that speed, and he is fouled by Gatlin. No, Johnson. They got Johnson. They're going to put it on Johnson instead of Gatlin. Could have gone either way. John Johnson's the one that's going to get it to be one and one. A lot of pressure now on Mark Wade to walk up there and make these free throws. Wade is a 71 percenter, but he was at the line about a minute ago, and he missed that head free throw on the one and one. And Speedy Jones will come right back in for Maryland. We have 41 seconds left. Dickerson goes out. Wade is one out of two from the line. He has five points, 12 assists. Mark Wade from San Pedro went to Banning High School, not too far from here. Doesn't get it. Knocked away from Bias, the foul on Armand Gilliam, sending Bias, a great free throw shooter, to the line for the Maryland Turks. Boy, what a tough break for UNLV and Jerry Tartania's run in Rebels. Wade has walked to the line. In fact, they've missed three front end one and ones. Two by Wade, one by Hudson on the one and one. Four fouls on Armand Gilliam. 63 60, Maryland down by three with only 40 seconds remaining. But Bias can pull him to within one. Bias has 27 points. What a strong second half performance by Len Bias. He is seven out of seven at the line. Still perfect, 63-61. And Tark's gonna take a good chunk out of that towel right now. Dave Dickerson standing there with Lefty Grizzell waiting his instructions to go back into this game. One point game. 63-62 as Bias cans a pair. Jones will go out. Dickerson will come back in. Hudson will inbound the ball. There's a long baseball pass down to Wade. Can he catch up with it? He just does before it goes out of bounds. Underneath Anthony Jones. He doesn't score, but he's fouled. Jones has 21 points, and Jones is a 77% free throw shooter. 35 seconds left, just a scant. One point lead for UNLV. Well, there was a heads up play by UNLV to get Wade on that run out, and if he could have caught up with it and laid it up, it would have been an easy two for him. Jones, three out of four at the line. 21 points, seven rebounds for Anthony Jones. Great performance by Jones and a great performance by Len Bias. This figured to be close going in, and it has been just as good as advertised. 
UNLV only 7 out of 12 at the free throw line as a team. 63-62, Rebels. 35 seconds left. 64-62. No hesitancy about that one. He just put it up and let it drop through the court. With the game on the line, it comes down to Anthony Jones and Len Bias. 22 now. 22 points for A.J. He's got it. 65-62, UNLV. The clock running. 30 seconds to go. Gatlin. Johnson. Johnson has it knocked away the foul on Freddie Banks. And again, it was that slapping foul that UNLV likes to do. When the ball goes by and they take a swipe at it, and that time Banks got caught. And the freshman from Knoxville, Tennessee, will go to the line. Watch Hudson try to converge with Banks right here as Johnson makes his move down the middle. He got it from both sides. Banks got the foul. Johnson, a 67% free throw shooter. 0 for 2 today at the line. A 6-4 youngster from Knoxville, Tennessee. They want to get Baxter in there, and UNLV players are saying, no, it should be Johnson. And the officials will confer now. Jerry Tarkini with assistant Ralph Riedow. They tried to sneak Baxter in there at the free throw line. And I don't blame them, because Baxter is a 70% free throw shooter. So what does Jerry Tarkini do but call a timeout and let Johnson sit and think about it a while? That's the line on John Johnson. Just a year ago, he was playing high school basketball, and the pressure is on him right here. Hudson loses the ball over to Gilliam. Bias falls down, and they're going to call for a jump ball. Alternate possession, or what? A foul? Oh, a foul. Terry Long on the back right there. Looks like Gilliam had the basketball and really surrounded. Bias acted out his part very well. It's the fourth foul on Terry Long. 65-62. And here comes Gatlin returning to the Maryland lineup, replacing Terry Long. So you'll have Baxter, Johnson, and Gatlin, some outside shooters for Maryland. UNLV not going to put anybody down on the free throw line. They're going to keep their players back for defensive purposes. Armand Gilliam has 15 points, 10 rebounds. And Gilliam, the 6'9 junior from Pittsburgh, PA, is 3 of 3 at the free throw line. UNLV 65, Maryland 62. He's got it. 66-62. You'd think Tark was four points down rather than four points up. He can't bear to look. I didn't see the towel. I hope he hasn't swallowed it. Gilliam drops in both. 67-62. That might be it. A five-point lead. UNLV with 22 seconds remaining. Inbounding the ball will be Dickerson for Maryland. Long is back in. So Maryland will have Long and Bias, Baxter, Gatlin, and Dickerson. 67-62, UNLV. I don't know what this discussion is about. Do I don't know what the holdup is either. That's the referee, Joe Forte. And a timeout, I guess, has been no, called I, by... I'll Lefty. tell you what it is. They had Long in the game, took him out, put someone else in. You cannot take a player out of a game and put him back in until another live ball situation or a dead ball situation after a live ball situation. Long was in, they took him out, then put him back in, but no time had run off the clock. 29 points for Len Bias, 23 points Anthony Jones. And the Rebels. Ahead, 67-62, the final 20 seconds. Baxter along the baseline, out to Dickerson. The foul will be against Anthony Jones. Or is it gonna go that way? No, oh, Baxter, on a charge, Baxter. And the Rebel fans start to celebrate. UNLV ahead by five, 67-62. Watch this foul called on Baxter now on the charge. Watch him go baseline. They sort of open up the baseline for him right here. It was a good move to the inside by Armand Gilliam to let him come across. And guess who the man was that took the charge? Anthony Jones. Jones, five out of six at the free throw line, 23 points. We're down to the final 15 seconds. 
University of Nevada, Las Vegas, ahead by five. Make it six. 68-62. And what a lustrous performance today by Anthony Jones. Lefty can just mutter to himself and take a walk. 68-62. Sixty-nine, sixty-two. That one did it for sure. Twenty-five points. An All-America performance by Anthony Jones. Tipped in by Bias. The basket will count. We have six seconds left. So we're down to the final six here at Long Beach. A five-point lead. UNLV. And Jerry Tarkanian and the Running Rebels will be on their way to Houston, Texas next week at the summit. And Larry Conley. What a great pleasure working with you once again. Mike, thank you. It was a pleasure also. Going to be an interesting game, UNLV against Auburn. A lot of talent out there. Auburn, an 81-65 victory over St. John's. Lenny Bias gets a standing ovation here in Long Beach. 31 points, 10 rebounds for the first-team All-American and the Maryland all-time career scoring leader, Len Bias. Gilliam who has been able to get the free throws when he had to down the stretch in the last couple of minutes, will be at the line once again. 70-64, and for Gilliam, 18 points. Gilliam has 10 rebounds to go with his 18 points. He's had 12 of his 18 here in the second half. Baxter doesn't get it. The basket does not count. The buzzer sounded, and the final score. UNLV 70, Maryland 64.